let's focus on the intricate details of the rigging of a tall ship. I'd like to share some of the techniques that I used in making this painting. This began with plein air sketches that I did when the tall ship Picton Castle and other ships from around the world visited Digby Wharf. I sketched on location as much as I could. Then I brought the plein air sketches home into the studio. This is in vertical format, so you get the best look at the painting. I began with a drawing indicating the placement of the masts and the sails, and then I painted the sky in. The only areas that I painted around were the white lit areas of the lower canvas. I painted right through the darker areas, and then I added the shaded bits of canvas in on top. What I'm working on here is putting the shadows on the sunlit rumpled sails. And uh, as you can see, I'm holding several brushes and I've got a different color mixture in each brush so I can apply them one after the other and let them run together. I shot this in vertical format so that you could see the full painting on screen. And uh, not sure how successful that was, but please bear with me. Anyways, what I'm doing here is indicating the darker folds on the shaded upper sails. Uh, again, using the same process as I did for the wrinkles on the lower sails. And now it's time for the best part, putting in the fine details of all the ropes that make up the rigging of a tall ship. I put in any hardware like pulleys or blocks so that I can draw the lines to and from them, join them to a, the appropriate part of the masts and so on. I haven't pre-drawn this part. What I do is I put in the major features, the sails and the mass, and then I draw the ropes in freehand once I get to this stage. I find it looks cleaner and neater and freer if I do it that way. The way I make those lines is I use a pointy brush, and I practice the lines before I put them in. I practice the movement holding the brush above the paper, and I'll practice the moment to, movement two or three times making sure I have my hand is steady and it's at the right angle. And then once I'm sure I've got it, I commit and put the brush to paper and with one straight, swift movement, lay the line in where it's supposed to go. And sometimes I mess up and then I blot it out quickly with a tissue and it doesn't really show. So that works okay too. For clusters of lines together or where they're overlapping significantly, sometimes I just use a wider brush and lay in a brushy, slightly blurry mark, and that reads as several lines all together. So as you can see, I've made a fair bit of progress here. It's just a question of slowly adding one line after another, looking to see what's missing, putting it in the right place. It's slow work, but it's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. It's so rewarding as each line falls into place and adds to the general effect. 
For more paintings, please visit poppybalser.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, the, the other videos I do are all in horizontal format, so fit the screen better. But uh, yeah, check that out. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below.